Uh, how's that feel? <laughs> it's bittersweet. You know, I've, I have similar emotions after NCAAs right now. You know, I guess I have a knack for being the first guy out, but again, it's hard to complain. I mean, these guys are the best in the country. They're Olympians, you know. And I put up a fight as a 21-year-old college kid from Montana, so I'm proud of my effort. I mean, ran an Olympic standard in this heat, like, led for a little bit, ended up fourth. So, obviously, you know, I've been thinking about those three spots for a long time, but I'm just happy. It was a good season. Was there yeah. something at the start of this year you were targeting, you think you could make the World Definitely. Team? I mean, it didn't take long after making the finals last year to say, oh, what's the next step? You know, I'm always looking for that next step and trying to match the, the competition and the speed of the guys around me. So, yeah, that's been on my mind for a year to make that team. So now, after one year of development, you're at a completely different level. You've got to feel some pride and satisfaction going into the rest of the season. Definitely, yeah. I mean, super proud. The, a lot of achievements from this season, but the biggest thing I'm taking away is just wanting to improve upon for next year. You know, I mean, want to get my time down even further. Looking at, you know, Rono's time. That's a big goal, but I'd say that's probably next on the list for next year, and then making uh, Budapest. And how important is it to have a former steeplechaser as director of track and field at your school? It's amazing. I mean, I feel like I have some great conditions for training. You know, I've got an amazing coach. He's, I think, three Olympic trials he went to. I've got a teammate who's right next to me, too. I mean, that one of the only groups who sent two guys to this final if not the only like not even just college like pro groups too so <laughs> we're on the up and up for sure at montana state <laughs> what rono time are you talking about? 805 the, the collegiate record so you think you're really looking at it for year. sure yeah i mean <laughs> i've run what 10 12 seconds that's a lot but i don't know to be at that at that stage in some finals and in this heat you know who knows what can happen with even better condition and some better pacing. You know, I don't know, but it's on my mind for sure. Yeah. <laughs> are you done for the season now, or you keep going? I guess so. Um, they mentioned some Pan Am games or something, but I don't know. A break sounds pretty nice right now. We'll we'll talk to the coach and see. <laughs> but what kind of inspiration coming up was Evan Jager for you, and how like? As many times as you thought about this final, I'm not sure if Evan Jager probably was even even in your mind, right? Oh, definitely. Yeah, I mean, on, on Thursday, we were watching some of his races, and then during the warm-up, I was talking to my teammate. I'm like, how crazy is it that like we're watching his races for inspiration, and now we're warming up next to him and about to toe the line with him? So, yeah, pretty cool. Which races did you watch for inspiration? Uh, I think the London Olympics, mainly, yeah. <laughs> Congrats on a great season. Thank you. Yeah. Appreciate it.